20-year-old Victor Van Bremen was a typical college student, busy with classes and exams. One day, he was driving to campus. He encountered an unexpected and bewildering situation. A driver pulled up alongside him, honking loudly and gesturing for Victor to roll down his window. Confused, Victor complied, only to be met with an angry and agitated stranger. The encounter left Victor stunned, and he couldn't shake the feeling that something was amiss. This unexpected event was just the beginning of a series of strange encounters that would test Victor's resolve and change his life forever. Victor, taken aback by the driver's hostility, immediately apologized, not knowing what he had done to warrant such treatment. Despite his efforts to calm the situation, the driver continued to hurl insults and threats at him. Victor tried to reason with the driver, asking what he had done to deserve such anger, but the driver only became more incensed. The environment was tense and hostile. The two cars were stopped next to each other, on a busy road honking horns and shouting voices creating a chaotic atmosphere. Cars were passing by slowly to see what was happening, but quickly accelerating to avoid getting caught in the commotion. Victor felt overwhelmed and trapped, unsure of how to defuse the situation. He desperately wished that the encounter would end, and he could continue on his way to class. The situation escalated, and the driver finally sped away, leaving Victor shaken and disturbed by the experience. He continued to his class, but the memory of the encounter lingered with him throughout the rest of the day. He couldn't understand why someone would behave so irrationally, and he was left wondering what he could have done differently to avoid such a confrontation. Despite his confusion, Victor was determined to move forward and put the experience behind him, not knowing that this was only the beginning of a long journey of self-discovery and personal growth. As Victor settled into his seat for his next class, he suddenly heard a familiar voice behind him. He turned around to see the driver from earlier marching towards him, his eyes fixed on Victor. The driver was a tall man, with broad shoulders and a muscular build. He had a rugged, unkept appearance, with a scruffy beard and a wild look in his eyes. He was dressed in a leather jacket and jeans, a stark contrast to the students around him in their academic attire. The school setting was a bustling college campus, with students hurling to their next classes, books and backpacks in hand. The atmosphere was lively and energetic, with the sounds of laughter and chatter filling in the air. But all of that changed as the driver approached Victor, his presence immediately drawing the attention of the students around them. They stopped what they were doing, and an uneasy silence descended upon the room as everyone turned to watch the scene unfold. Victor's heart sank, as he realized that the driver had followed him to class. He felt a wave of fear and uncertainty wash over him, not knowing what the driver's intentions were. As the driver approached, the students around them quickly gathered their belongings and left the room, leaving Victor alone to face the intimidating figure. The room was eerily quiet, the only sound of the footsteps of the driver as he approached Victor's seat. As the driver reached behind Victor's seat, the professor who had been writing on the board turned around his expression of confusion and surprise. Can I help you, sir? The professor asked, his tone polite but firm. I need to speak with this young man, the driver said, gesturing towards Victor. I'm sorry, but this is a classroom, and we are in the middle of a lecture, the professor replied. I'm afraid you'll have to come back later. This won't take long, the driver insisted, his voice growing more aggressive. I have a bone to pick with him. I'm sorry, sir, but I must ask you to leave, the professor said firmly, stepping in front of Victor to block the driver's path. This is a place of learning, and I will not tolerate any disruptions in my classroom. I'm not leaving until I have my say, the driver declared, his eyes blazing with anger. The professor and the driver stood facing each other, the tension between them palpable. The room was silent, everyone watching the scene unfold, waiting to see what would happen next. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, campus security arrived, and the driver was escorted out of the room. The professor continued with his lecture, but the incident had shaken the students, and the mood in the room was somber and subdued. Victor couldn't focus on the lecture, 
his thoughts consumed by the encounter and the driver's mysterious motivations. As the security guards tackled the driver, the students in the room gasped in shock and surprise. The driver, caught off guard by the sudden attack, stumbled and fell to the ground. Grappling with the security guard, the two men struggled exchanging blows just outside the classroom. Suddenly, the door to the classroom burst open once again, and the security guard burst in, shouting for the driver to stop. The guard was a tall and burly man dressed in a uniform with a badge on his chest. He moved quickly, tackling the driver once again, bringing him down to the ground in a swift and well-executed maneuver. Everyone stay back! The guard shouted, his voice echoing through the room. The driver struggled against the guard's grip, shouting and cursing, but the guard was relentless. He expertly restrained the driver, using handcuffs to secure his hands behind his back. The room was filled with sounds of shuffling feet and whispered conversations as the students tried to make sense of what was happening. The driver continued to shout and curse, his voice growing more and more frantic as the reality of the situation set in. What's going to happen to him? One of the students asked, breaking the silence. He's being taken into custody and charged with disorderly conduct and disrupting a learning environment, the guard replied. The authorities will sort it out from here. The guard tried to lead the driver out of the room, his footsteps echoing down the hall as the students watched in stunned silence. The professor continued with his lecture, but the mood in the room was tense and the incident had left a lasting impression on everyone present. Victor sat in his seat, his mind racing with questions and confusion, still trying to make sense of what had just happened. As the security guard was leading the driver out of the hallway, suddenly the driver broke free from his grip and started running down the hall. The guard was caught off guard and quickly gave chase, his heavy footsteps echoing through the building. Victor watched in disbelief as the driver made his escape, dodging and weaving around the corner of the students and the teachers as he made his way towards the exit. The security guard was close behind, shouting for the driver to stop, but the man was determined to get away. The driver reached the main entrance of the building and burst through the doors, sprinting out into the open air. The security guard followed, his breathing heavy as he chased the man across the campus. Despite his best efforts, however, the guard was unable to catch the driver. The man was too fast and agile, slipping through the crowded campus and disappearing into the busy streets. Victor sat in shock, still trying to process what had just happened. He had never witnessed anything like this before, and he couldn't help but feel a sense of confusion and fear about the sudden violence and chaos that had erupted in his class. As the security guard returned, panting and out of breath, Victor couldn't help but wonder what would happen next. The driver was still out there somewhere, and it was clear that he was dangerous and unpredictable. Victor made a mental note to be more cautious in the future and to stay alert for any signs of trouble. As Victor made his way back to the parking lot, he suddenly spotted the driver standing by his car. The man was pacing back and forth, a look of rage and frustration etched on his face. Victor's heart raced as he realized he was in danger. He quickly turned to go back inside, but before he could take a step, the driver lunged at him, tackling him to the ground. You can't get away from me, the driver growled, his eyes wild with anger. Victor struggled against the driver's grip, trying to break free. The man was much stronger than he appeared, and Victor found himself unable to escape. What did I do? Victor managed to ask, his voice trembling with fear. You know what you did, the driver shouted, his face inches away from Victor's. Victor was at a loss. He had no idea what the man was talking about, and he had no idea why he was being targeted. He tried to explain himself, but the driver was too far gone, consumed by his rage and anger. Suddenly, the sound of sirens filled the air, and several police officers pulled into the parking lot. Their lights flashing, the driver released Victor and stood up, looking around in confusion. What's going on? The driver shouted, his voice filled with fear. The police officers quickly surrounded the driver, guns drawn, and ordered him to surrender. The man hesitated for a moment, and then suddenly raised his hands in the air. As the police officers took the driver into custody, Victor sat on the ground, still in shock from the attack. He couldn't believe that what had just happened, and he felt a sense of relief wash over him as he realized that he was now safe. He slowly got to his feet and made his way home, still trying to make sense of the events of the day. He couldn't help but think about the driver and wonder what had driven the man to such a violent outburst.
The experience had shaken him to the core, and he knew that it was something that he would never forget.